what we're doing today is we're going to replace these uh, brake support rod bushings and they are right here and to get them out you've got to compress the spring and then uh, unbolt the spring plate and you can get to them to replace them and um, these are in really bad shape uh, both sides so I've got it jacked up of course got the wheel off got it supported all the weight the vehicle weights off the spring but the spring of course is still under tension so I've picked up one of these uh, Mercedes spring compressors on Amazon went ahead and I've got it assembled this piece right here uh, it comes with different spring plate sizes uh, this one seems to be the size that fits in here well um, get it as low as you can get it and uh, we're gonna go ahead uh, well I'll show you so it slips through the end of this slips through these holes and then you turn the tool and tighten it up and uh, have these pull up into here so inside of the spring it's going to look like it'll slip through then you turn your tool and then oh, turn it too much doing this one-handed break out the tripod slips through and you turn your tool and let it slip up into these notches just like that so that's what it's going to look like inside of the spring on the top side you slip one of your other uh, ones that you're not using and it's got notches on the tool and let it slip into there and that keeps it from slipping through the um, the hole which is right there so we're gonna place this whole deal make sure all hoses and everything out of the way and close this is there and then on this end Let me uh, get that seated in there and then we'll continue on. All right, I had to move it up one notch and uh, or one hole. I couldn't get it, couldn't get it in. Uh, it was putting it at too much of an angle. Um, this spring plate is just a little bit large and it's kind of throwing it off centered in the hole. You can see I put it um, to give myself as much clearance as possible like that. Um, what I might do, I could make me a, a smaller uh, plate like that if I wanted to, but I think this will work. Um, so there we've got it. I sprayed some lubricant on the threads of the spring compressor, and we're going to go ahead and start tightening down on this thing. Made sure, looking underneath, that it was seated. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can tell. It's in the notch. And of course, it's in the notch up here too. Use a ratchet on this, don't use air tools. That noise was the 
uh, spring compressor settling further into this top plate. getting this thing back in so there we go I think we got enough clearance to get those bolts out and one thing to keep in mind is when you do this um, don't take this for granted that this thing is held in place um, that spring compressor could fail at any time so keep your hands out from the spring plate and the uh, um, spring so I'm going to use a half inch, it's half inch wrench, I'm going to use that and go ahead and break these loose and uh, get them out of here. I did have to get my fingers in there just a little bit to uh, quickly to get those screws out. I uh, got the spring plate out. Looks like they have blue Loctite on them, so we'll put some blue Loctite back on them when we put them back in. Um, I was going to say remember the orientation of it, but you can't get it mixed up because it's got three bolts. So now we're to the bushing, and you can see how. that is you think that was noisy every bump now I don't know yet if the the part that bolts to the uh, chassis over there is, or to the if this part I think they call that I don't know what they call that one but I don't know yet if that parts bad but that's definitely bad, so we're just going to go ahead and replace this. So let me uh, get this set up and we'll, we'll get it out. Hopefully you can see on there, I was showing y'all the notches that are in those bushings. They line up with this support rod, uh, top and bottom. And just try to center that support rod when you put this in. And I don't know if you could also see when I was pushing this back and forth, the whole suspension had slop back and forth with that bushing. So I'm sure that wasn't good. Of course my bushings are no good anyway but I'm sure that wasn't good for them. Um, we are going to eventually put new ones in it, but we are not doing that today. Um, you know, that. so now we just need to bolt our uh, spring plate back on. And I just ran these up at the impact and uh, they seem to be in good shape, good and tight. And we will, uh, like I said, put this on. I'm gonna go get some Loctite, put on these uh, bolts, and we'll put this back in. tight on those and they are back in place and tightened up 
So now we can put the uh, release of spring and we're going to have to guide it back onto this spring plate. So let me set y'all up and we'll do that. just used a uh, pry bar and pried the spring over and then uh, used the same pry bar and kind of and a hammer and kind of knocked it over to where it was sitting fully in the spring plate it wasn't too bad really so we are done all we need to do now is put the wheel back on and let the jack down or get it off the stand and we're gonna go do the other side but uh, the other side will be just like this side so um, you know what I will set up the time-lapse uh, with no narration and we'll just let the time-lapse run I'll do the other side that spring on the other side getting it back lined up but got it in there got it in the spring holder spring plate whatever you want to call it um, that uh, that plate when I was undoing it um, the that third bolt you got the two together and the one that's the third one that's by itself it um, I couldn't get it out because the spring was in the way I probably could have pried the spring out of the way but once I loosened that bolt, I was able to just swivel that plate around without taking that bolt out. Uh, I'm sure you could see in that time lapse. So um, made it a lot easier. Um, I could have done it on the other side too, but I didn't think about it. So we are done, and uh, hopefully that takes a lot of the noise out. Uh, every little bump and everything you hit, uh, you heard a big clunk. 
and that should tighten up the front end as well because like I said um, with that um, with those loose that a arm that lower a arm had slop in it so uh, that should help out so anyway thanks for watching